weekend with an opening statement from Coach Versa. Uh, obviously, this is the first time we've really played a game to uh, right before the Big Ten to kind of, I guess you could say, get a tune-up or just get the uh, cobwebs out a little bit uh, before we get into conference play. And for the most part, I was pretty pleased um, with the effort. Uh, turnovers were really bad, but other than that, I thought uh, defense and rebounding and, and having a variety of different people step up uh, to be able to score for us I thought was very helpful. Um, and uh, again, it, it's nice to be able to, you know, wear teams down a little bit. Brittany, did you feel like there was some cobwebs for the team there in the first 15 minutes, maybe? And did you feel like there, especially at the end of the first half, you were able to shake them off a little bit and, and go on a little run to sort of put the game away a little? Almost well, definitely. Anytime you come back from just the smallest break, as, as you know, a couple of days, it's just trying to get everything back. You know, trying to get. You know, two days of eating a lot of food, you, you really need to get back and work that off. And I mean, you know, it's you may think two days isn't a long time, but not going, you know, doing anything for two days really is tough to come back. And I think we definitely need to shake things, things off in the first half and um, get with it at the end. How does it feel to be the latest member of the 1,000 point club? I had no idea until <laughs> someone said something after the game. So um, it's a good feeling, definitely, but wouldn't get there without my teammates. You just talked about Dee Dee's development at the point. I mean, she had some rough spots tonight, but how do you feel like she 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 battled through those? Um, she's definitely battling. I mean, her defense has picked up tremendously. I mean, everybody keeps saying, you know, she's a great defender, and she is. And I think she's getting more confidence um, playing the point guard position, you know, getting a few games under her belt at the point guard position. And I think she's talking really well to her teammates and letting us know what she wants to run and uh, what Coach B wants to run. She's doing really well. Did you, did, were you looking for your shot more, or was it just a matter of taking advantage of some opportunities that you had? Um, I feel like it was both tonight. Um, there was a few open shots that I probably should have taken that were uh, forced turnovers. But um, I do feel like it's a mixture of both because um, I have been needing to look more for my shot for my team. But um, I just feel like it was a mixture of both. Can you, can you just talk about your progress uh, at the point and where you feel like you're at, uh, you know, 11, 12 games in? Yeah. Um, I feel like I am becoming more confident. My um, coaches told me all the time my defense is what sparks my offense, and I'm starting to believe that, which um, it's helping me more. And it's, I'm letting the game come to me instead of trying to do things that aren't like inside of my inside of my game right now. But um, I feel like I am becoming more confident. You know, say I feel like I stepped up a little bit. I did have more turn, turn, turnovers than I normally had, but um, I feel like I am becoming more confident with um, the point guard position. Just talk about the defense there at the end of the first half. Do you feel like the press maybe rattled them a little bit? I do. Um, I feel like um, the press that we did put on, I feel like it did rattle them a little bit. I feel like they weren't ready for it. I feel like they thought we were just going to, you know, sit back in the um, five that we were in, the five-man offense. But I feel like it did, like, rattle them a little bit. Sharing just the waves of interior players in particular, you could sort of throw in a team like, you mm -hmm. know, an undersized team like Western that, you know, sort of overwhelmed them a little bit. But yeah, when we actually started, you know, trying to go high low and, and do a little bit uh, more that way, but that's what we want to be able to do. If you have four big bodies, hopefully you can do that, you, you know, because in the Big Ten, everybody's so much more physical and it wears you down much quicker. So uh, I think that that has to continue for us, you know, now when we're starting our new clip here. What, what are you seeing out of DD uh, this deep into the season? Um, I'm just seeing her really grow, you know. Um, Having uh, two freshman point guards, um, I know they get frustrated, um, but her growth has been very, very, very good. Um, you know, a lot of it is she's defending, but I told her, you know, if, if she can score six to eight points getting steals and getting some layups, but she was a lot more aggressive on the rebounds and boards because she's so quick. And so, you know, she's four for five from the foul line um, because she was being the aggressor. So I think she's, you know, just really starting to believe in herself. And we have confidence in her 15-foot shot, uh, rebounding ability, and taking it to the hole. And I think, you know, tonight really helped build her confidence. Do you feel like she's got a pretty good uh, base going into Big Ten season for what, you know, what she's going to see and for the minutes that you're going to need from her? I think, I think she has a good base. I think, obviously, um, types of defense and types of pressure are going to be a little different, but that's when you can have a pressure release with the post coming up. And she's just got to be confident in what she needs to do. But um, I feel, uh, obviously, with Dee Dee on the court, I usually have Brittany on the court with her, or I have Courtney. So you can have two point guards on the court at all times. So I think that that's helped both of them. Anything else?